Right, this is a bit of a moan. Oh, I've got a strict head on. Um, I did a little review yesterday of what I'd bought from like, my little shopping trip and I showed you my little Anya Hindmarch purse. Anyway, when I stopped the video, I thought I'm just going to investigate this purse. So I got her out and had a good look at her. And actually, believe it or not, she's fake. Ooh, I told you I hated eBay. <laughs> yeah, she's not real, which is such a shame because she would have been absolutely fantastic. But when I got her out, I, I knew straight away she wasn't real because I, I thought she wasn't leather, which she's not. She's plastic. Um, and I just could tell that it just wasn't a luxury purse. Just the way that there's, the zip moved. And what was a big giveaway for me was... Let me take this out. Because I am actually going to send it back to the seller. Um, it had got a tag in here that said made in China, which... I knew it wasn't right, if you can see that, it says made in China, it's just got like a little plastic white bit on the back and it's just not good, it's not leather, it's really plasticky, there's a lot of things like that luxurious purses don't have like the rough edges, the stitching's not great, the logo is a bit wrinkly across there, so if you are thinking of treating yourself to an Anya Hindmarsh purse, just go to the shop or one of the outlets. Don't buy one off eBay because I've looked on eBay and the seller that's selling this, they've got tons of stuff and it's all counterfeit and it's not cheap. It's not like you're buying it for £20. It was £200. So it's so annoying. Why do people do this? It really gets my back up. So if you're thinking of treating yourself to one, don't buy one off eBay. I'm going to be returning this this afternoon to get my money back and I will save up eventually and get myself a real one. I know they're a lot more money, but they are leather. They will last a long time. I did contemplate about keeping this, but then I thought, because I know it's not real, it'll annoy me. And because it's plastic, I don't think the stickers will last very long. I think they'll soon start to wear off. Um the tassels all stuck together it should be all loose and free-flowing and it's all stuck together the little gold things only just flat and rubbish and I would imagine on a real one it would be more raised up and nice the zip probably won't last very long um, and I just like the card slots will probably start to mark and you know for the money it it just it won't last very long it's just rubbish so I'm so annoyed I'm so annoyed that I've been conned um, so if you're thinking of treating yourself to one, please, please, please don't buy any off eBay unless the seller has got a proper receipt or anything. So if you're thinking of treating yourself to a sticker purse, I would imagine this is what they look like. And I love it. It's really nice. But they would be really soft leather, which this isn't. So I hope this is a bit of a help if you were looking on eBay to treat yourself to one. Just be careful what you buy in. Like me, I've been stung. Yeah, not a happy bunny at all. So I've rung eBay. They're not really interested unless you've got genuine proof that it's not real. They don't really care. So this seller will carry on selling these. But I just hope if it puts a few people off, at least I've helped a bit. I have tried to report him, but whether eBay will do anything or not, I don't know. Anyway, if you get a minute, please subscribe to my channel. I don't deal in fakes. I only like nice, genuine stuff. So, yeah. Um, if you get a minute, please subscribe If and I'll speak to you all soon. Have a lovely, lovely day. Take care.